I'm going to assume that most of the audience has not heard of Velasquez, um, or maybe it's better to say you haven't been paying attention to Velasquez, and that's okay with us. Um, what I am confident in saying is that the vast majority of this room has been influenced by one of our advertising products. We have over 58,000 uh, 58, clients ranging from your mom and pop shops to a national restaurant chain, national retail chains, grocery stores, CPGs, telecoms, you name it, they're our client. And you, you can find our advertising products through, uh, you can find our ad advertising products online, in your mailboxes, in your local newspapers. So we're, you know, we're, we're in the advertising space, maybe not what you in the room think of when you think GIS conference. And I myself am not a GIS guy by any means. I, I'd consider myself a data geek that thinks maps are cool. Um, so I'm, I'm here to show you today how we leverage data, leverage mapping, leverage location intelligence to activate consumers to purchase our clients' products through intelligent media delivery. Um, and we've been doing that for over, over 45 years. But I'm happy to say that we're doing it today better than we ever have before thanks to a new technology that we've partnered with Esri to build. So what do I mean by intelligent media delivery? It's, it's our data, it's our reach, and it's our constant drive to better our products through analytics. So as the, as the advertising industry, as the world has become more digital, we've had to keep up by expanding our data capabilities. We're able to monitor consumer movement by, by looking at over a billion mobile devices uh, throughout the year. We're, we're able to understand um, consumer interests uh, by monitoring over 80 billion daily web signals. This really powerful online data is merged with our offline data to produce over 300,000 advertising campaigns per year for our clients. We truly, we, we reach almost every single American uh, every single week of the year with, with our products. But we don't stop there. The, the last part of intelligent media delivery is that continuous drive to improve ourselves. So we have our uh, a, um, proprietary response analytics database with over 15,000 marketing events in it. We use that data to recommend better solutions for our clients and continue to not only better ourselves, but grow their revenue through, through that analytics. Really what we're trying to do at Velasquez is put the right message in front of the right people at the right time uh, with, with our products. And there's a group at Velasquez whose sole job is to do just that. That's our targeting analysts. They're, they are experts in finding that, that needle in the data haystack. They, they work closely with, with our clients, work closely with our salespeople to understand our clients' uh, marketing objectives, understand how to best reach those objectives within their budgets. They're absolute experts at doing that. But their job has become more and more difficult as we've grown our data capabilities, as our product portfolio has become uh, more complex. And, and that's kind of what I'm trying to illustrate here, are the systems that, that they're using to find that needle in the data ha haystack have become more and more disjointed as time has gone on. Um, they're spending more time sifting through applications to find the data they need than actually delivering the insights that they need to deliver to our clients. It, we, need a, we need a system, we needed a system that uh, allowed, allowed our targeters to find those insights quickly and really let the data tell the story that sells our products to our clients. And I'm happy to say that that system is, is Empower. It's a, a data-driven geospatial marketing solution. It's a uh, custom-built custom web application uh, leveraging the ESRI technology that um, really brings all of our data together and it provides a tool for our targeting team to deliver those insights to our clients. And I'm gonna show you that in more detail right now. So this, this is Empower. Um, as you can see, the, the map becomes the centerpiece of the analysis. And there's this hub of information above the map that helps deliver those quick insights. This, what, what you're seeing on the screen right now was created in less than a minute, honestly, through some very basic uh, data entry uh, in an interface like you see on the left. Um, so quickly, uh, through just a, a few points of, points of data, through just a few seconds of processing time, the targeters know um, not only the geographic layout, 
of, their, of, the, of, of the client store list and that trade area, but they also have some really quick insights. For example, they know that um, they're at 97% to the client's budget within this trade area. We know who that audience is within that trade area, and we have some really powerful performance prediction metrics that I'm gonna get into in a couple more slides. So I mentioned all that data, all the online data, the offline data uh, that, that our targeters use throughout their days and how that's, those systems have become more and more disjointed. What Empower delivers is one source for our targeters to find all that data. Uh, the, the box on the left is an interface that the targeter would go to, to to search for the data that they need to meet their client objectives. So those, all those databases, all those applications, all those manual queries have been replaced by this one interface that's easy to search on, easy to understand. And the example I'm showing here uh, is, is just one way that that data could be used. What I'm showing on the map is we're val valuing geographies based on one of our online audience variables. This one happens to be uh, people who are interested in purchasing pet products based on their web browsing behavior. So those, those 80 billion daily web signals, uh, that's converted to data like what, like what you see on the screen. And the way a targeter could use that is they could see that really quickly uh, that they're at 97% to budget. So in other words, there's 3% of the client's budget that's in our minds being left on the table. In our client's minds, um, that's their marketing budget that they're relying on us to spend to maximize the benefits of. Empower gives the targeters quick vis a quick visibility into that, as well as an easy platform to add geographies to get up to that budget. In the pre-Empower world, this insight of being 3% below budget probably would not have been realized until very uh, towards the very end of the analysis. And at that point, there really wouldn't be time to affect it. Uh, what Empower delivers is getting that data in front of our targeters up front so that they don't leave that money on the table and they meet the, uh, the expectations of our clients. It, we're also making our sales team's job, jobs a lot easier. So I mentioned the performance metrics that we're able to um, meld into Empower uh, a couple of slides ago. What I'm showing on the left is, is three of those metrics. So we're able to confidently predict things like uh, how many consumers will respond to this advertising, what's the, co what's the cost to our clients for, those, for each of those responses, and what kind of revenue do we predict this advertising will generate. Uh, this is, it's not new data to us. Obviously, it's extremely powerful data to bring to a sales meeting. Uh, this is data that we've been collecting uh, for the last 10 years, this is the, the response analytics database that I showed on, on the second slide earlier. This, but for the first time, what Empower is delivering for our company is getting this data out into the marketplace at scale in an easy to understand format. Um, it's really easy for a targeter to communicate this message to our, to our salespeople and for the salespeople to communicate that to their clients and uh, honestly for, for that sale to be uh, uh, achieved much easier. So I mentioned uh, I'm a data geek, so bear with me um, on this slide. I know most of you guys are into maps and those previous few slides probably got you more excited than this one. Um, but this is, to me, where the true power of Empower is. So on what we're tracking within Empower is every, almost every single click that our users make. So we understand, we understand things like, um, what features in Empower are being used, what features aren't being used. That helps us prioritize future development of the application. Uh, we understand what data elements are being used, um, which helps us to make more informed, better informed decisions on future data investments at Velasis. But I think where this really is going to prove the benefit of Empower is that we're able to track individual elements of a targeting methodology. So think of data, how we're defining a trade area, um, what variables work and what, what doesn't work. Um, we're able to combine that with analysis post-campaign to start to build some true insights and, and start to deliver, deliver uh, data-driven recommendations to our clients. We're, we're able to 
using Empower, able to get away from relying on our targeters' tribal knowledge um, and, and relying more so on the data to drive that success. Uh, so it was uh, made very clear to us from day one with this project that fast success was uh, of the utmost importance. Our uh, chief data and analytics officer, who also happens to be the project's executive sponsor, went as far as saying his, his kid's college education depends on the fast success of this project. And, yeah, I'm not sure if that was a joke or not. Uh, <laughs> I'm still not. Um, but so we started, um, we started this development back in September, and within 60 days, we had our first pilot release. And I think that's uh, thanks in no small part to our partnership with Esri, as well as our investment in the EEAP program. Uh, having Justin Busboom as our dedicated uh, technical advisor got our team focused on the right things to get, as, uh, to get productive as quickly as possible. Our, our development team on Empower are some of the most talented developers I've ever worked with, um, but most of them had never touched S3 technology. And to have a pilot release done in only 60 days is a testament to not only their talent, but, but Justin's uh, dedication to the project. Uh, since then, we've had, we had our first um, full production release of the custom application that I was showing you uh, just now um, by December, I, and we've had monthly, re monthly releases since then. And this, this process of iterative releases, adding features with each, each, each release has been really successful for us, and we've been able to prove that uh, through, through the adoption metrics that we've been tracking. So we're really with Empower revolutionizing the way that Velasis approaches intelligent media delivery. We're, we're delivering results for our clients, we're growing our revenue, and we're getting the right message in front of the right people, uh, or those consumers. So I'll just close by um, just asking you guys, next time, next time you make a purchase, whether it's a, a toothbrush you forgot to pack, or um, dinner tonight, or coffee tomorrow to get you through the plenary, uh, just think about the data and the actions that led you to make that purchase. And that, that's what Empower is helping our targeters help you make that decision every day. Thank you. Well, thank you for, for just a fantastic <laughs> achievement and um, really appreciate you sharing with, with you. the group. I, it, was, it just occurred to me that there were probably some people that you needed to convince um, to, to, to jump into this project. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So it was a lengthy, lengthy process for us to get the buy-in from our executive leadership group. Um, I think a lot of people in this room, Fran, or Fran Laura, our sales executive, is in this room. She can, she can probably think back to two years ago when we first started going after this. And I think what, what finally worked for us, what finally got them to nod, our heads, nod their heads and say yes, was convincing them that, the best approach was for us to start small. Um, we, we purchased uh, just a couple of ArcGIS Pro licenses in order to build a prototype that we were able to show to, to leadership to not just talk about what we wanted to do, but show, uh, show them something tangible, this is what we want to do. And that's what got us uh, our funding for our first phase. And um, you know, it's making the, that same kind of um, process makes the funding for future phases uh, a lot easier as well. Sure. Well, it's a, it's a brilliant application and uh, amazed by what you've done. So just as a close, any comments on ROI or the project as a whole? Yeah, so uh, having ROI conversations with, with our clients um, can, can be a little sensitive. I think you need, to, you need to know your audience, right? So sometimes we're in the room with the CMO who just wants uh, the facts. Sometimes the CMO brings along a data scientist who wants to know how we got to those facts. Um, so I think the best advice I would give when you're having those kind of ROI discussions is to know your audience, but then also um, in your delivery of, of your recommendation, of your message, uh, don't come off as if this is new information to your clients. Uh, kind of make them think that this was, you know, this data has always been in front of you, uh, you're doing a great job, it was your idea, and this is what you got to do to move forward. All right. Well, that's a, an amazing piece of advice, right? Don't assume that they don't know what they're looking at. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank Wonderful. You.